Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to yet another video of the Football Mania to bring you all the latest news and insights from the world of football. The English Premier League is back and we are heading into game week 12 of the fascinating Premier League. And out of all the mouth-watering fixtures, one fixture stands out and that is between Liverpool and Arsenal at Anfield. We all know that both teams are separated by just two points in the league standings and Mikel Arteta's men are in red-hot form. They are unbeaten in their last 10 matches going into this fixture and they will be, you know, buzzing with confidence. On the other hand, Liverpool playing at home, we all know that Anfield has been a fortress for them for a very long time and especially when they come up against Arsenal, they always slap them for either 4 goals or 5 goals. And all their front three always step up to the occasion against Arsenal. And I am sure that all Liverpool fans will be expecting yet another hammering of Arsenal. But let's be honest here, Mikel Arteta's men have you know turned a corner to be honest because their defence looks much more stable with the likes of Tommy Asu, Ben White, Gabriel and Nuno Tavares. And you know even though Kieran Tierney is still injured, Tavares has you know filled in that void and played exceptionally well. And if we talk about Arsenal's midfield, they have Thomas Partey and Sambi Lokonga who look like warriors on the pitch. And when we talk about Arsenal's attacking front, we have Emil Smithrow and Bukayo Saka who are in incredible form. And Emil Smithrow recently got a call up to the senior England national team which in itself is you know a testament to his good performances. And once again Aubameyang and Lacazette are linking up very well at, at the front and it will be interesting to see how Mikel Arteta approaches this match. Because we all know that Liverpool like to dominate possession at Anfield and they play very good fast counter-attacking football. And their midfield for so many reasons you know they have some injury crisis. I think Andy Robertson got injured in the international match when he was playing for Scotland and even we have to keep a close watch on their midfield because Curtis Jones is still injured, Harvey Elliott is still injured. Will Thiago Alcantara start for this match? That is you know a very big decision which Klopp has to make and as far as Liverpool's defence goes, Virgil van Dijk and you know Matip have not been very very consistent. They have leaked 11 goals in the Premier League so far and you know sometimes they look really fragile at the back. And we all know that you know in their previous encounter against West Ham, it was a very very lacklustre performance. The amount of time and space the likes of Mikel Antonio and Jared Bowen got in the middle of the pitch was just you know astonishing. And even if we think about how Liverpool teams have played in the previous seasons, it was always so compact and they used to always be on the front foot. But however, this season they look much more open at the back and that is causing all the defensive frailties and issues. And if Mikel Arteta's men have to exploit that opportunity and weakness, it will be you know down to how Emil Smithro and Bukayo Saka get on the ball and move into those half spaces, those tiny pockets which are you know really crucial to hurt the opposition. And Jurgen Klopp's men should not be underestimating Arsenal because you know we all know that once Arsenal are you know dominating position and trying to play out from the back, they can be really really effective. And Arteta has you know trusted these players. It's a very young squad and really kudos to Arsenal and Arteta how they have backed the manager and given him what he wants. He wants to wants to play in a particular style. And that style is, you know, playing out from the back. And fans may like it or, you know, dislike it. But, you know, if you are an Arsenal fan, you have to be optimistic because they are in a good run of form. And even if we consider their, you know, record against Liverpool at Anfield, it has been really, really bad in recent years. But we all know that this fixture is always reminded of Arshavin's four goals. I think it was in the 2008-2009 season where you know Andre Arshavin just blew away Anfield and will it be yet another high scoring thriller? We still have to wait and watch. There are so many tactical battles that we can look forward to especially in the middle of the pitch. 
if jordan henderson gets on the ball you know it is you know sometimes chaos for arsenal because the way he can you know uh, spring the ball from left to right and the way he bombs forward is sometimes very very difficult to observe and arsenal have to be wary of Ars- liverpool's midfield as well because they have been you know creating chances especially oxlade chamberlain jordan henderson and james milner all these players are quite experienced and it will be a very stern test for mikel arteta's men so my prediction for this match is a 3-1 victory for liverpool mainly because they are playing at anfield and they have a very very good record against arsenal and don't get me wrong arsenal fans i am also a gunner but i am still expecting liverpool to prevail mainly because of the quality of players that they have and you know it is you know quite good to see that arsenal are in a good vein of form but you know if arsenal can you know thought that you know resilience and they can maintain a shape in the first half it will be you know a big achievement for them you know not conceding a goal in the first half so it will be really crucial to see how arsenal starts this game if they are on the front foot and trying to dominate possession at anfield it will be a very very close match but i am still expecting liverpool to win and guys please drop in your predictions for this match it is a big game for you know all premier league fans liverpool and arsenal have always been you know very exciting teams to watch and i am still expecting a very good goal scoring thriller so please drop in your predictions i am looking forward to your comments and for regular updates from the world of football please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so until next time stay safe and take care